This is a video by Rich Pin. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. This happens to be a 2002, a Gen 3. And what we're doing today is we are removing the multifunction switch. First thing we want to do is make sure the key is out of the ignition and remove the negative cable from the battery and wait about a half an hour to an hour because we're going to be dealing with our airbag. So, um, next thing we're going to do is to remove these covers above and below the steering column. Now we're going to use our special 5.5 millimeter socket There's the tough ones in these little wells right here. That's why you need this special small diameter socket. Move down the tilt control arm to get this one over here. There's the top one. And uh, Get the little bezel on the key, you need to remove that. Now, the fun part we got to um, I hope this key works. All right, now the fun. We gotta get our flat screwdriver behind here, and uh, there are four little windows, and you gotta move the wires. Okay, we're just about on our last one. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now we have to uh, get our electrical connectors off. All right, we got uh, this uh, red one right here. Now we can Remove our airbag. Now let's loosen that center nut. Wait a minute, we got this uh, connection right here. Now we can remove. We're not going to remove the nut. We're going to loosen it. Okay. Now let's get our pulley out. Pull. Yeah, 
They can scare you sometimes when they pop like that. But she's loose. Now, before we remove our wheel, let's make sure that our tires are straight ahead and the wheel is in the straight ahead position. And just to make sure, let's make sure we mark it, the shaft, the steering wheel, so we get it back in the same position. Now we don't want the clock spring to move, so we're going to tape that down. Because if she moves on you and you put that wheel back on, you could be in trouble. Alright. What we're going to do is uh, next we're going to loosen our 5.5 millimeter screws that hold the switch into position. Get it out a little bit and then we can disconnect our electrical connectors. There's three of them right here. Okay. Now. This one right here on the right side. Remove that. And then we got this one on the left side. That should give us a little more room, huh? And now we can get at this one right here. Well, that lock is really buried in there. Okay, we got this connector right here. And we've got one more wire. All right, now that last wire is this one right here. And uh, we got this green lock. We want to remove that. And then we can separate the connector. Now once we got that wire out there should be nothing left holding our switch on. And there's that last wire. And there it is. There's the multifunction switch for the Gen 3. So that's all there is to removing the multifunction switch on your Gen 3 Saturn S series.